so long have I dreamed of this moment after months and months of waiting, countless back and forth, and the endless nights spent smashing the refresh button on Yun Express. It finally arrived. The Leisure Cadenza. Hey friends, Timmy, welcome back to another on Giz Audio. And I know, I know, right? You guys been waiting for this. Me too. The Cadenza from Lay Shores. Wow. Yes, in this video, we'll be unboxing it. First impression, I'll show you the graph, all that stuff. So uh, let's just jump into it. So this box right here is a mega, mega, fingerprint magnet you touch it once it's just smeared and ugly so you guys have no idea how many times i've had to wipe this just for this shot alone it's heavy man it's i have no clue what's in here it's supposed to be just an iem but it weighs like a dac amp setup massive massive box all right here's the case and it looks and feel very premium. This is something you should be getting if you are buying endgame IEMs or spending so much money. This kind of packaging, though super unnecessary, kind of makes sense and makes it feel somewhat like you didn't, you know, just burn a lot of money. Well, you look at that, it opens like... <gasps> oh, and even the inside is well textured. This box is incredible. It gets an S tier for the box. I hope you guys can see that, but yeah, inside. Look at that, Leishore's Cadenza sitting there. Oop, I think this might hold like the manual, the greeting cards, whatever it is. And the inside, you get this plaque thing and a carrying case. Here's the carrying case up close. And the interesting about this one is that it is a magnetic case and is very satisfying and heavy to lift. And the snap is just Awesome. Inside the case, you get the cable with three different termination options. Now, a little bit of a nitpick here, you know, since this is an end game IEM, I would rather my termination comes in, you know, maybe a velvet pouch or insert it into a nice looking case, maybe not plastic. And here's the look of the cable up close. I'll probably take a few pictures of this and show you guys more as the video goes on, but yes. Very nice feeling, premium. This is kind of a, a cloth material wrapped around the cable. And on the ear hooks, it doesn't have the same cloth material, but all in all, the cable feels nice. It doesn't have that much memory as well, which is good. Here's a little plaque thing up close as well. And this is what's adding a lot of weight to this box. Perfect. Now let's take a look at the IEMs. They come wrapped in plastic protecting the very reflective coating of this IM. I really don't want to touch this. I, I don't want to touch it because I'm just going to leave fingerprints all over. So I'll show pictures for you guys up close. There you go. That's what it looks like. Now with a box this big, I would think that they're hiding some accessories somewhere. Maybe there's a secret hidden door compartment thing. Um, where are the ear tips? Oh well, that doesn't really matter. We're here for sound and I have a bajillion ear tips at home anyway, so let's just test this IEM. So I said I couldn't find the ear tips. I actually found them. I'll show you where they are. They're actually under here. <laughs> oh, found them much later. What I found interesting was this thing right here. Dividers. You can turn this box into a carrying case. This. Look at that. A really nice carrying case now. And throw this in here. Throw the ear tips in there. Throw whatever in there. It's kind of cool. Fit and comfort. Fantastic. Nothing to complain at all. And the cable. The more I look at it, the more I touch it, <laughs> the more I like it. The sound coming out of this is honestly so balanced so clean but not clean in a way that is like 
is tucked like the variation or potentially a mangrove scent tops can be. This has mid bass. This has male vocal heftiness. The upper mid range is a little bit more subdued, I would say, not a really aggressive pina. Sounded more like those slight incline kind of pina gain, something like the Prestige, maybe the Hexa, the Oracle, something like that. A lot of people do enjoy a more subdued nature. I really like it on the Cadenza. But the best part about the Cadenza is in the treble. The treble reveals a lot of micro nuances and it displays those quite well. It's not a lot, a lot, but it's enough for you to hear little things going on in the song while at the same time not coming across overbearing or distracting. In the near future, I will be reviewing this. I'm told I can review it when launch day comes around, so I have to wait for launch day to review this. But I'll be comparing this to all the other end game sets on the market that I own personally and everything that I've tried because when it comes to end game IMs, right, it's a lot of money. It really needs to be special. And though this is to my ears right now very special, I still need to AB it with all the other special sets to see if this competes or where does it land does it have its own niche etc so stay tuned for that with that all being said thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end i would like to thank my patreon subscriber now we have k chadwick suny roll norm ben robert and go to 10 the new nine dollar subscribers and of course we can't forget mason mason love them all if you want to support the channel yourself link to patreons down below many good perks there and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out and bye oh i almost forgot i got another package too galileo